Now, the rest of the story. Greenland actually was green once upon a time. But that was before it started snowing. Today, today Greenland is little more than a vast snow slab, two miles thick. What land there was is now mostly below sea level, submerged by the sheer weight of all that snow. Three thousand years ago, there was a blizzard on Greenland. The snowfall of subsequent seasons compressed the snow from that one blizzard into a river of ice, a glacier, and it was a September long past when a gigantic chunk of that glacier fractured and tumbled into the Jakobshavn Ice Fjord. Its destination was the open sea. There was about 10,000 such icebergs swarming up in Baffin Bay at the time. Better to understand them all. We'll stay on the trail of this one iceberg in particular and observe it carefully. It was not especially large compared to its brethren, about 100 feet tall, 300 feet long. That which was visible, anyway, for most of it was beneath the water, reaching 500 feet down, very heavy, weighed a million or more tons, and yet the statistics do not do justice to the phenomenal beauty of this floating ice mountain. It was not merely white, but it appeared brilliantly crystalline in the sunlight, refracted through a billion ice-bound air bubbles. Scientists retrospectively tracking this particular iceberg Note that Captain William Adams was in the vicinity. He was homeward bound aboard his whaling ship. Surely, they say, he cast his eyes on that frigid majesty. Before making its way southward, the iceberg would have to embark on a grand tour of Baffin Bay, first northward along the western coast of Greenland, all the way to the mouth of Smith Sound, then south along the eastern coast of Baffin Island, swept relentlessly by the current. The journey took many months. And each mile of the way, the iceberg sang, squealed and creaked and groaned and sang as icebergs do. And it also became a living zoo. Seals nestled in its crevices. Bowhead whales hid themselves in its shadow. Among the scientists who have studied this one individual iceberg is marine biologist Dr. Richard Brown. Dr. Brown even wrote a book about its voyage. And through that iceberg's eyes... The author witnessed the various dramas of that time in that region, the extinction of the bowhead whales, the hardships of the Eskimos, and Dr. Brown follows the beautiful iceberg until as it travels ever southward into warmer waters, it diminishes to the size of a coffee table and disintegrates in a bubble of foam off Bermuda. That was the fate of the snow that fell on Greenland 3,000 years ago. That is the way that beautiful peripatetic palace of ice passed from us. But before it did, it sank the Titanic. It sank the Titanic. Thus did a distant age reach into the 20th century to disturb our destiny. For the history books say that the Titanic was sunk by an iceberg off the coast of Newfoundland in April of 1912. And that is so. But now you know that she was predoomed by a snowstorm ten centuries before the birth of Christ, because now you know the rest of the story.